when you're shooting, you know, 16 gallons a minute out of your booster and you're going 50-50, you better make sure you have a large enough strainer filter. See these little slits right here? This is what we're using. This is two inch to an elbow to a one inch here. This is what we have dropped down in our tank. So we're not starving for any bleach at all. The sucker here is pretty big. Give you an idea how big it is. If you guys go to a small one inch one or one and three quarter, and you're running a booster or some high volume, you gotta go with a bigger filter so you do not starve it. You gotta remember, you have to have a reservoir of, of bleach in here. You can't count on it always sucking through the filter. It's a two inch baby. Like I said, it's always better to overkill it than starve it. You see here, we thread the one inch Schedule 80 PVC. Then we have the nice stainless steel band clamps with the, with the center punch there. And ready to go ahead. This is the only drop tube that I have on the truck. The rest, you know, we don't like drop tubes because the way they slush and break the bulkhead, but we don't have a bulkhead on this. We go through a uniseal. And I'll show you that next. Schedule 80, threaded right into the valve. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the uniseal. That's what it looks like. Pop it in right here, a little water around it, and we're gonna slide our pipe down inside. See how clean that looks here? We got the threaded one inch pipe going right up to our electronic valve. Now what this valve does is when I wanna flush my soft wash system, I just hit a switch and it sucks fresh water in, goes through here and into the manifold system and it self flushes. And if you notice on the side of the tank, we got our big Mondo filter here. When you're soft washing, you know, 16 gallons a minute, you're doing 50-50, there's a lot of bleach you need to be sucking. So that big, big filter will give no restriction at all. And that's it, we have our uniseal. So we're not, when this thing here moves around a little bit, or if it sloshes in the tank a little bit, it will not break a bulkhead fitting. Uniseal goes right in. We threaded our PVC pipe right door right door valve and that's how it's done.